Welcome guys, today we are going to do a Sea Town tutorial. This is going to be the expert tutorial. Sorry about my Norwegian accent, you will probably get the hang of that. So uh, basically this video is going to be for all professional players out there. I got 500 hours at least experience of uh, gaming, in, gaming in this game and uh, I'm going to show you a lot of stuff that you do not know about uh, this uh, map Sea Town. So basically, I'm going to rate spots, hiding spots for infected from 1 to 10 and um, you will be able to, hopefully from this tutorial, you will be able to hide better. And not only hide better, but I will show you spots that you did not know about. So uh, basically, infected people become zombie-ish, even though they don't look like zombies, and they're going to catch you. You want to hide, of course. You want to hide smart. So you know, for example, if somebody's coming from there and you can see them on the UAV or you hear them, them or you know them, that they are coming there, you can hide behind obstacles. Like, yeah, like if somebody's running here, you can behind hide hide by uh, behind here, which is good for that purpose, that kind of purpose. And um, the opposite, of course. Uh, this applies uh, especially for the juggernaut mode, which. Um, yeah, basically you can always see them on the UAV. So uh, now you know that. Uh, by the way, the more rubble you can lie into, and uh, the more rubble that can dig you beneath the ground, and you can lie into and such like glitch, uh, glitching with your legs into empty space or uh, even even solid space like um, <laughs> like uh, walls and stuff. And that that is only a plus for hiding spots. So uh, let's start with the rating. I'm I will also show you uh, at least two spots that. Most people don't know about. They are actually really difficult. I will I would put them on uh, one of the best um, rankings that I am going to give. So, uh, yeah, any spot is a good spot. I would rate this spot a, tr uh, a three because uh, well, there's sunlight. Even though there is um, there is a little bit rubble ru of rubble in here, you can sort of lie down. And if somebody's absolutely not looking right here, if somebody's like being all like like this, they won't see you. And uh, also keep in mind that my HUD, which is basically from uh, from uh, there to there on my screen, like because I play on the PC, change my HUD. It's much larger compared to normal players, so uh, everything will be. Uh, what can I say for you console gamers? If you are good at hiding, you will be masters. You will be champions. Um, yeah, just pu just putting that out there. So um, let's um, let's run around the map a little bit. Another hiding spot from from walking people. Oh, had a little lag there. Here we got some rubble. I would rate this uh, maybe a, a three or a maybe a four because there are actually rocks, even though they don't do much. You're still in shadow, and uh, not too many people will notice a lying person, lying person in general. Here we got some more. Rating uh, rating it a three. It's not good at all, and um, if uh, uh, like this does not work, you're lying on top of it. Uh, even though you will lie on top of it, I would rate it a four. It's actually pretty. It it has it has a lot of cover that hiding spot. So um, let's see here. Grass is always good if you have the have the ghillie suit, uh, but that won't do. Like here, prefer professional players will probably see you, uh, because well, it's not too much of a shadow, of that shadow there. Uh, remember, I told you about any any hiding spot is like a good hiding spot. Uh, well, uh, this house is not that great for hiding spots. Basically, if the enemy knows where you are, the, he will find you. It's not that hard to look uh, through the chairs and all the rubble here and stuff. But um, do what you must to stay alive if you really want to stay alive as much as possible. You can see here there's not much cover, but there are a, co are a couple of walls. And you can probably jump down a couple of windows if you need to escape that dearly. Uh, let's uh, let's head down here. So uh, this pl uh, this plant here, this pot plant, uh, I figured that might be the best spot in this entire room. Uh, besides that spot, if they don't know where you are there to hide, you can also you you can sort of look pretty pretty far away from any direction basically. Uh, therefore, I would give it a five. Also, it's inside the house. That's that is basically why it did not get any high rating. So uh, now you know that. Yeah, turn on the, that light. <laughs> Let's uh, let's uh, run more around here. No good spots here. Basically, you can stand on this, but th that is useless. Um, this spot might be good if uh, enemies are coming from there. Uh, basically, nothing that good. This spot might be good for a, a little bit of watching. Here we got a 
good couple of corners. And this spot, uh, I was actually able to, on the first try, to get a Reaper here. So, uh, in hardcore, by the way, Sniper, camping. I was camping there, just for fun. Putting that in uh, this uh, guide. <laughs> stuff, uh, s crazy stuff might happen, and it might work. So, um, let let's head out a little bit. There's a lot of snacks outside, you you can see. Uh, so, um, l let's see here. Here we got a lot of rubble. And as you can see, there are a lot of things lying on this... Um, this table here so uh, let's run up here and see what we can do because I know for a fact that you can lie on that table and uh, the rubble on top of it does not matter at all and I actually think you can jump yeah, up here up here as well sorry about that but uh, yeah this spot I would give it a 5 because uh, well there are a lot of traffic uh, but um, there are it's also a lot of cover and there is shadow and you can even glitch your feet into um, into the things behind here so uh, you won't be that much seen basically um, yeah uh, it's definitely a good spot but it's not the best but um, yeah never uh, never forget that you got to take what you got if you are on the run for example uh, about uh, on the run that little topic you can hide, be hide behind here if you know somebody is uh, running past and you can just lie down let them pass you can also do the same here from that di direction and the same here even though I doubt uh, it would work it would, I, I would give it a two on my scale for hiding spots even though um, you know I did not mention this one this one might be great if you're like just standing standing and staring down uh, you might not attract too much attention so I would give it a 4.5 uh, would not suggest it I I would not suggest anything we need seven to be honest I've been playing this mode uh, mode for to be honest a couple of days but since I got so much experience with the game uh, I seem to know what is working already and trust me they do these spots uh, so uh, let's uh, let's uh, run over to one of my eight spots um, this spot is actually really impressive all you have to do is jump on this box here and uh, you can just glitch yourself on these dumpsters but what is the amazing part is that one you got shadow two you got rubble three you got black objects which is uh, really great when you got black uh, clothes on in this game and not only that but you can lie down uh, prone, which is uh, a must. Uh, in ghillie suit, it would be only be better, even though I doubt so, because it would not match with the under layer. And f uh, and the last perk of this spot is that you can actually go back a little bit, and you are good to go. Just look a little bit down, and your gun won't pay, like point up, and everything will be cool. This this spot I just found it today. It's it has to be amazing. People won't like like running running past. They they really have to get into the angle of staring right at it, and and like, <laughs> like it's it's so such a good cover. This spot, eight spot, it's fabulous. Really, I really uh, suggest you guys uh, would use that one if you uh, if you got the time and the and the space and uh, such. Um, yeah, so uh, let's uh, run up here quickly. A uh, little vantage point here if you really wanna hold down this area. Good for uh, team uh, team playing. You can just pick them off here as they run. Uh, pre pretty neat indeed. Um, yeah, corners, black corners, always good. Take what you got if you if you really want it. Let's uh, let's move on. So uh, I will uh, I would uh, now like to uh, like present to you a spot that might work, but uh, I don't really know because I wasn't able to get a person to try it out. But uh, this spot might be a sixer spot if you can lie down here and your gun won't like point out from the the, s the size of the truck, uh, which would be really awesome. Not only that, but this point might be a little uh, a little point vantage point for like shooting down people. But uh, yeah, thought you wa might want to know. Okay, so there's nothing nothing much here. A couple of melons. They taste delicious. <laughs> um, well, let's uh, run around the map a little bit more because uh, like. It's easier to get a uh, hold of what is going on here. Okay, black rooms, vantage points, awesome, and stuff and things. Uh, nothing too much around here. Um, even though you can jump on a couple of these uh, these ones later on. I the stalls. I can show you that later. Nothing, uh, nothing much here. A lot of good spots for like hiding, especially with these um, pillars here. You can really use them to like trick your enemies uh, into running past you, which is great. And um, yeah, let's move on. Here uh, we got a couple of plants. They're not that great. You can't go into the corner, which ruins everything. But we got a couple of spots here. Uh, I think lying down here would be like a, f a fiver, a fiver, because the, uh, like 
We got a couple of um, plants here. Might hide you up. Not only that, but you are close to the black, no, the, the black, the blue door. God damn it! So um, keeping uh, keeping away from the light might work. And uh, here we got another fiber spot. Uh, it is uh, if you know about it, it's actually quite easy to uh, like look look through. Uh, to be honest, uh, but it uh, do work if the enemy is like sitting pretty pretty like still and stuff. Uh, and uh, just to uh, and, uh, just to show you something really neat, lying down here, I've been able to like avoid this. This is not a joke. Joke um, on the map um, around here. There were like, let's say uh, this was the radius. There were like 15 enemies, 15 juggernauts, and they were running around. And me and my buddy was lying down here. He actually went a run for it. They did not know that he was here, so he was able to escape through uh, that passage. And I was just lying here. Holy shit, man! That was so scary. But that really works. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. We'll I will jump into some uh, more advanced, advanced tricks later on, for uh, the real pro people. Uh, yeah. Here we got another one of these small uh, sellout uh, thingies, uh, top snack. If you want to want a snack, free snack, free water. Holy shit! Water is flying. Oh my god. <laughs> Said you can't jump uh, there, but uh, still, it's black. It's out of the way. I would give this a fiber uh, and m maybe a 5.5 because it's uh, actually quite useful. And if they're running f through there, standing on top of that object would be really neat, just like uh, in uh, any other spots. And uh, <laughs> yeah, just to put it in there while I'm at the spot, lying down here, I would give it a three because uh, well, it's black, but it's not that good. Corners, corners, a couple of pillars, and that wall there might be useful. Now I want to show you uh, one of my favorite spots. This spot right here, if you got a ghillie suit, it does not really matter. Just lie down here. They won't be able to like accidentally point at you. You can see a little bit if you want to poke. Like it's nearly impossible. You, anyways, you got like the UAV, uh, the permanent UAV. This this spot here, good for one person only. This this spot here. Uh, it's way worse. I will now rate them just because I sort of forgot it. I will give this spot an 8 because it's out of the way even though it's in light. There is actually so much grass and a tree and uh, the edges here like they, they are actually mm, quite tall and uh, the spot is outside of the map like in the outskirt. Uh, like most of the good spots. This I, I would rate this spot an 8 because this is it's fabulous. I've been using it like Five or six times, they always run past, and if they don't run past, you can always try and run. Like, I've been only killed here once, um, so uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Nothing to do about this cart. This spot here might do a three or, f or maybe a four. Easy to see, easy to see. Uh, by the way, I know that it, it is possible to jump on, the, I think it was from here. You can jump on these boxes. Not, not that useful, really, but um, nice to know, nice to know. You can, like... Um, Fool a couple of people with it, uh, I would guess. Corners, corners, that lamp will, will not give you any advantage, uh, really, besides standing in the corner. Um, yeah, and here, uh, in this spot, there's not nothing in particular that is standing out. Unless, uh, I, like, those boxes is probably the only thing. Um, that that little, uh, little thing there is in useless. And these potatoes are made out of metal for some fucking reason. Sorry about the cursing, but man. I want to do a skit about those. <laughs> now you know. Be happy. Let's uh, run on a little bit around the map uh, more. So um, this, uh, this little uh, flower placement here, as I would like to call it. It's actually really good for like... Um, yeah, like if, if an enemy is tailing you, you can just run here and you can jump. And you can lie down here, and they might. Uh, I, I would estimate a 50 50 percent chance for them to not see you while they walk past here. As a like my HUD is much larger, as I explained, so I would probably see that enemy. But um, a normal player, he would uh, have a lot less chance to see you. So th that is a good spot. I would rate it a 4.5. Pretty useless, useful, useless. I almost said useless. It's useful. Nothing here, nothing here. Uh, shadow, of course. Uh, this spot here, I would give it a 4. Um, mainly because there is a box here and there is shadow and it is in the outskirt of the map. But that is not the main point here. Um, it is not that efficient, but uh, I would actually uh, comp compare like that spot to this spot. I would give this spot a 5. Not only because it's uh, far outside from the map, but there uh, there is actually moving fire here. Which means that it would sort of work like a decoy 
the enemy would uh, like without thinking about it, it it is sort of black or all, all that that spot is black so he would not look there and there is movement there always so he would not like think that there is an enemy there even if he was close so that is pretty neat uh, I've seen a couple of enemies lying here and I have never been able to see them so that spot I would give it a 5.5 maybe a 6 I'm not sure you decide you test it out nothing nothing corners corners for tactical usage uh, corners these doors here are not that useful actually it would give uh, give it a 3 Maybe maybe a 3.5 because not many enemies are like looking there. 3.5 all this way. Not not nothing that much really. Vantage point there. Uh, you can stand on that little bridgey thingy they build here in this map for some reason. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, even though they can probably throw a knife you if you are playing striker versus juggernauts with knives. Uh, yeah, let's move over here. Yet again, we have another fire spot. I would rate it one point less than the spot over there. I think I rated it like 5.5 .5 or 6. I would, pr yeah, half a point less. In general, like 5 or 4.5. Just um, just giving it a number because that spot is actually pretty awesome. And uh, let's move over here. Nothing, uh, nothing in particular here. Uh, maybe these plants might give you one edge before they see you. No, nothing, nothing that much. Um, you can jump on all of these uh, stalls here, here. Nothing, nothing much, nothing much. Uh, I will show you a little spot down here quickly. Uh, you can actually stand here to like uh, shake them off if, if they're running from there, and uh, proning will actually give you even more cover, which is great. Nothing in particular. Uh, I can throw them in this spot, this spot right here. I've not be even been able to use it, but I've never seen anybody use it. So I would, I'm sure to say that this is at least a seven. It's black, it's outside of the map a little bit. Nobody's looking there, even if, even if they were looking, it would be black as, it, it would be, be black as the night. Black background, that, that is pretty neat in my, in my opinion. Let's, uh, let's move uh, over here uh, to uh, some spots I've not been jumping on. <laughs> jumping on, see what I did there, I will show you. Uh, jumping on lately. So uh, we got a couple of crates here, not that great for hiding, but um, here we actually got one one, uh, I, I would call it just an insanely difficult spot because it's uh, freaking hard to do and uh, I probably need to put in some footage of me doing this uh, like being on those crates over there just to prove that it is in fact possible but what you want to do, you want to get up here and sort of jump and turn to the left while you are walking this direction and you will be able to land there which is insane because that pole is always hindering you and that way you can sort of run up here and have a nice Nice secret advantage point for a couple of enemies uh, from here and there. Uh, just putting that in there because it's extremely difficult to do and it is uh, about impossible. So um, now you know, it's pretty uh, pretty awesome. And here we got a little um, toying spot as well, toying with enemies. You can actually stand on this, uh, this steel plate here, uh, even though it did not work out quite well right now. There we go. Uh, useless spot, now you know, avoid it <laughs> at any cost. And. Um, yeah, let's move over to the middle of the map. Now I will like take the rest of the map. We got the li this little spot here, right here, uh, standing pretty still. Might might even a four because uh, like people won't see uh, things that are standing still. Here might be a little good for advantage, advantage, advantage ish usage and stuff. You can actually jump on uh, these things from quite a good amount of spots, like there and there and. Maybe that one if you're insane, I doubt so, there and all the way there, so this spot is not that useful really, hiding is almost better. Here we got a couple of objects, would give this row a uh, 4 or 4, 4.5 because there is a lot of uh, activity, but there are objects you can prone and uh, it is dark. Uh, let's, let's see if uh, there are any other spots that I've missed. Basically, I think you got get the idea now. By, by this entire map and the concept of it. I hope, I, I at least hope you do. Uh, so, uh, I think I've been uh, into or around all the spots by now. And uh, let's move over to the best spots of the entire map. I've saved this for last because uh, these spots are actually one of the best spots on the entire map, of course. I will probably title it with that or something. So, uh, this spot here, they won't be able to see you from the front, from the back. 
and it's dark and it's outside of the map. This part here is uh, is earning a seven by its own, but it actually has a brother. Not this brother over here, which is uh, which I will I will give it a four because it's pretty pretty light. The light is sort of shining at it, and uh, people can see it. But uh, you might shake people off from it. It actually has a brother, and that brother is behind the light. So the light will sort of make you even darker than you are. You can already see on my camera that uh, it's actually goddamn dark. And uh, there are rubble here. You can uh, sort of blend into a little bit. If you and if you stand still, people won't even notice you. I will give this spot an 8 because it's it has never been used. I've never seen it ever before. I discovered it fa actually today. It's rubble. It's got immensely cover the edge of the map, black background. It has almost everything. Uh, actually, I would reconsider. 8.5. That spot is sort of brilliant, um, but remember to stand still, or else it might fail you. So uh, yeah, here we got a couple of the sixer spots because uh, g in general people are rarely walking here. But if they are, you got a lot of cover, and it's on the edge of the map. Um, mainly getting the sixer because there is a lot of grass. The boats terrible, but the grass at the boats and the black background uh, are in this entire area. As long as we are not on the boats um, or in some bad corner at the boats, uh, I would give it a in general just five. Everything inside here is a five. Uh, but the real goodies about this spot is that I, I, this this spot is actually so good I would give it give it a nine. Um, you you will understand right now for like why. Uh, just because uh, you're not only in a black spot outside of the map in cover. Uh, blending into the background, which you can see here is immensely black, but there is boats as cover uh, uh, for this again And you can even back a little bit in here if uh, you're uh, able to do it like skillfully I think you can walk a little bit into the wall compared to the dumpster uh, So uh, yeah now you know about all the spots and if I got enough tape I will uh, You know what I will I will just I'll just put in how the heck you get on that little that little ledge here, I, I can just show you now before I talk over the rest of the, the like the, the extreme spot for uh, zombie tactics on this map because this is this is sick. You can actually stand on this entire edge here. You, you can see like how the walls are um, quickly before uh, I will end. Uh, sorry, I had to cut it there. Uh, Run out of tape, as you call it. Um, this um, expert expert spot. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Uh, it, it, uh, this spot is actually extremely hard to get to. Uh, it will give you an hard, uh, a pretty neat advantage. And if the enemy does not know about this spot, you will uh, probably not get knifed from beneath uh, that quickly. But uh, as you can see here, uh, um, like the walls that are covering up this uh, this entire area down here, uh, they have sort of edges, as you can see. And um, one of these edges actually works as a platform to stand on, which. Uh, I was able to figure out um, today as I tried to like jump for this one and this one these uh, small uh, wooden uh, nails as uh, wooden plugs whatever you want to call them and uh, I figured out that you can actually stand on this area from there to there which is uh, actually pretty neat uh, the enemy will probably try and jump to you uh, from both directions and a couple of people will probably try to jump uh, to you from down here uh, which uh, would probably be the, the your like the, the worst part for them to try and catch you. Uh, so you really gotta keep um, keep an eye out for uh, enemies uh, and on that spot. But one thing is sure, and that is that you will probably g be able to like get a tw 25 kill streak if you got en enough ammo and if enough players are failing at trying to kill you. Like that that spot will impress people, and I can guarantee you that. You can also stand on that pole pole by the way, but that is useless. And um, yeah, I don't think that there is really that much more to talk about on this map. Um, I don't do glitches. I only try to like do really, really hard stuff. Um, so uh, yeah, hope you uh, hope you enjoy that. And uh, here is extra footage of me actually being able to jump on that spot. I will just give it a quick go now because I have, have the time uh, to like reach that that spot. So um, <laughs> yeah, be right back. Hopefully. Okay, uh, fuck that. I was actually going to switch over to the other tape, but I was able to do this on the first go. So uh, let's just tactical uh, it right here and uh, talk about it. So basically, what you want to do 
you can either like climb up on here on this um, this uh, tiny wall here pretty broken and uh, walk over here uh, mine that little hole there and um, you might want to uh, for, the, for the starter actually try that spot first uh, for like try and jump and actually hit this entire ledge over here you can see it like turning right there and then it goes over here over here over here to that corner there and uh, you can walk on this entire spot but uh, as soon as you like you know, goes past past it at all you will fall and um, you will normally slide uh, pretty much you will not be able to like slide over there to uh, some other spots even though I that that like that square oh shit I f fell down yeah remember to never jump when you are there that entire plat there might be a stand a bull even though this one has a glitch so uh, I I don't really know but uh, fun to show you show it to you on the first go it's actually pretty advanced and to figure this out holy shit man I spent really a lot of time on this even though this was fun uh, I think I can actually do one of these uh, every day so uh, you better subscribe if you want to follow them up give uh, this uh, tutorial a like if uh, you want other peoples to see it after you <laughs> because you were first of course uh, you already has a major advantage on this map at least maybe maybe being an overlord and um, I've been yellow I upload daily and uh, hope you like this uh, this tutorial it was uh, actually pretty cool to make and uh, yeah don't get beastified